So you want to know how to clean your drivetrain. Keep watching. So, cleaning your drivetrain. Um, for the last I don't know how many years, I've watched experts on um, YouTube tell you how to look after your drivetrain, clean your chain, um, what to leave it with, and all the rest of it. Uh, for instance, I mean, the one that really got my goat this week was I watched it, and he um, he was saying, right, to clean your chain, you clean your drivetrain, you need to get your degreaser, and you need to spray it on your cassette, spray it on your chain, spray it on your sprockets, and then swill it off. Now, why would you want to spray degreaser in here to clean your chain? Because in there are bearings. In here are bearings. In here are bearings. Now, when you spray this degreaser in, and he's spinning the chain at the same, he's busy doing this and spraying it on, that is going into the bearings, that degreaser. And you've basically washed all of your lubrication from your jockey wheels, which are not cheap, and your bearings in your hub, your pivots, if you happen to have a pivot here, you're spraying it on there as well, and obviously your bottom bracket. Let alone you've degreased all of the lubrication from inside your chain. All of the oil or lubrication that's in those rollers is now being removed, along with the dirt, but obviously the dirt's only there because the chain lube's sticky. Put your finger in the chain lube, then put your finger in some grit or dirt. Does the grit stick to your finger? Yes. Why would you want to stick grit and muck to your chain, which then grinds away and wears your chain out. You put squirt chain lube on, it dries pretty much within 15, 20 minutes. Nothing ever sticks to your chain then. The chain just looks dry and nothing will stick to anywhere else. So you don't need to clean anything. You don't need to do anything. So you just save your bearings, you save everything. So what I wanna show you now is basically a three-year-old chain up against a new chain. One of these chains has had, has done two winters, if not three, uh, all my summer riding. And as I say, I have never, ever, ever degreased, cleaned this chain with anything but water, just when it's muddy, just swill it off. So here we go. So this is a brand, uh, top chain's brand new. Bottom chain is the old three-year-old chain. Now what you'll find is if you put chains next together that are worn, one will start to get longer than the other because of the wear in the links. So we'll put these two level. So there you are, that's at the start dead level. So we'll go through and you should see the bottom start to get longer than the top. So the links will start. Can you see it? No. <laughs> In fact, there's nowhere. See what I mean? This chain hasn't grown at all. Barely at all. It's mad. I struggled sometimes. When I first did this, I was shocked. Because you'd think that bottom chain was new. It's not. Hollow pinned XGR chain. It's the original chain I put on. Look how much it's grown. It hasn't. In fact, it hasn't. I can't. I'm, I'm surprising myself here. I am surprising myself. So this has done so many miles. So basically, the same goes for this. Because a chain and a cassette wear together. So I can put a new chain on this cassette. Brand, this cassette's three years old, as I say. Put a new chain on and it'll still work fine. Okay, I rest my case. So if you want to have the same experience, buy this stuff. And what you do is you'll put it, I'll, I'll show you what to do in a minute, actually. So to put this stuff on, I'll just quickly show you. Um, it needs to go once round, that's it. Once you've got it on, what I do, as you can see, it's on the links now. What I do is I'll spin it, keep spinning it so it goes into the links. Just spin it and spin it and it starts to disappear into the links. And I'll do this either um, before, usually before I go out on the bike, I'll just pop it on. If, if, if the chain feels like it's getting a bit dry um, or every sort of, I don't know, every five or six rides, I'll just re-lube it. That's what you do. So there you have it. Basically, 
the conclusion I came to some time ago and what I'm trying to get across to you is that it doesn't pay to clean your bike too much and it certainly doesn't pay to use anything other than something like squirt I would say use squirt lube buy this stuff you can get it I'll put a link in the video to our shop or you can look hunt it around anywhere you like um, and just get yourself some of this this is the workshop bottle obviously because I use a lot of do a lot of bikes do a lot of stuff so I carry one of these but you can buy the little tiny bottles to carry in your bag or you can buy like a half size which is really handy just having your home workshop lastly I just want to uh, say I am not sponsored paid supplied with free squirt lube I buy my own it's the best that's why I use it